um, we have been selling, starting to sell flash above skirts again. Um, so I thought I'd do this video for you guys. Um, if you are gonna run these guys, there's there's some things you gotta know. Um, and I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible because we already sent some of these lures out. Um, but basically, Um, you guys can tell that this looks awesome. Darren Darren did this for us um, and these flash a flash a ball flash a ball skirts um, They look awesome and they work really well, but um, I Haven't really run them because That's how you kind of want your hooks in them. And so, um, and as far as I knew, you had to run a single hook like that so that the hook wouldn't tangle. If you run a double hook in these, um, it, this will just turn into a big bird nest and all your hard work of skirting this thing up is gonna go down the tube, so. That basically, that's why I never really used to run them. Um, they bite, but you know, the the this is more like a marlin setup in my eyes, anyway. So, um, but but then I'm gonna post a video that I'm gonna put a video right here that um, Darren put up on his Instagram. And he's got a way to um, run a double hook on on them. Basically, he stiffs rig the whole thing so that the hook's not wagging its tail, and that'll help you not um, get your skirts all tangled up. So um, I might do a video on actually how you do that, but there's videos out there. But if you look at his rig, you can pretty much figure it out. I'm, and then I might do a video later. He's actually showed me how he does it, so I know exactly how he does it. Um, but I also wanted to just give that that's a that rig is a process. You you know it's um, your mono through your head, make a loop, connect the um, wire, and then um, stiff rig. The wire heat shrink and then tape everything up so I, I wanted to show you guys a simpler way to run a single hook and then stiffen it up um, in case you don't want to go through all of that um, hassle so let me uh, turn this off and come back to it okay so we're gonna rig this guy up um, for a customer and uh, the starting of this, of this rig actually starts here um, again you have a couple of options you can do what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna just burn this line saver pretty good so that the leader line is kind of pinched in this line saver and that'll help the hook from um, it'll help hook keep the hook in its place. The other option would be to buy one of those hook stops, you know, those black little rubber hook stops um, and glue it back there. Or you can not run a line saver and do it old school style and stick a toothpick in the brass tubing to pin the leader 
um, pin the hook where you want it to be, but um, I like I like this way. Um, I think if you're you're marlin fishing, um, you might be more, you know, want to go with one of the other options, but this way it works for most of the other fish. So it's gonna burn this lightsaber real good. Make a mushroom and then just put a little water or spit on your finger and um, smash it down. Okay, so I got my line saver in and now I'm just gonna stick that guy in there and, and you saw how hard it was for me to push it through that and then also the back one that's burnt as well. Okay, so put your line through like that. So I pulled this rig down out from this lure. Get a better idea of what's going on here. But this is basically a knot that keeps your hook from wagging back and forth. And then it's crimped on there. And then the tail end of this is twist it around back up the line and then that's just a holding crimp and that that crimp doesn't really have that much pressure on it but all that does is that s stops it at the back of the head and that's how you gauge the distance to keep the single hook you know you mainly want this part of the single hook not inside of the flash um and then you can also tape this up to, if you look at this hook right now, it's a little crooked and, you know, you can massage it into place, but you can also tape it up and make sure that it's nice and straight. So I'm gonna, the main thing I wanna show you guys is how to do this one right here. Um, so I'll be right back with that. Okay, so now, this might be a little tricky to do on camera, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. You want two crimps on your leader line. And then you basically wanna go through the hook and make a, make a pretty long tag in here because you can always trim this back. This line's gonna give me trouble. Okay, so you, and then you're gonna wanna go make a make a pretty good tag in here and then you wanna go one, two, three times around. Keep those um, wraps nice and straight and now you went in from the front now you want to go out from the front again so it's gonna make a loop right there and then this will cinch everything everything down pull, pull that tag nice and tight and you see how my wraps are all nice and tight there and hold that in place and get my crimp do what you gotta do
slide that crimp on. I actually have to let go of the line to get this crimp on, but still my, my wraps are nice and straight. And now, now you have to work this knot. Um, you basically wanna pull this up and cinch this crimp down as close as you can, so. And there you see that the hook is stuck. Okay. Just try and squeeze that crimp everything as tight as you can. Crimpers, make sure you line up your crimp good. Don't crimp all the way at the end and smash the end of the crimp. Tack that one on. Hit the other side. again now that hook is stuck there okay so in from the front come around the shaft three times and then go back out from the front and that'll make this this loop right here and and it'll pinch it down basically okay so now um, let's see if I gotta move this. So now with this tag in, you're gonna basically measure it out so that the hook is where you wanna go. And this is kind of like your stopper. Some guys put beads over here which you can do, it's probably a little bit easier, but I, I don't like the beads because the beads break and um, that's just one more thing you gotta buy. So I just, I use the extra tag to act as the spacer. So I'm just gonna measure this to be my spacer basically. And then um, put a tacking crimp right here, so. Figure out where I want the hook, whereabouts. And I'm gonna feel for the back of the head. I want it kind of right there. stick my other crimp on and I'm gonna double check it's about right where I want my hook it's out of there and so now I guess you could tack it on like like that, but I, I just twist it a little bit. Just um, makes it harder for stuff to get caught in between the two lines. So I'm just gonna put a, you know, what does this look like? Three twists in it. And then, again, this crimp doesn't really need to be very hard. This is more 
just to hold your hook where it needs to be. So just snug it up there. And that's what your rig will, your, you know, what is this? A semi-stiff rig, that's what it's gonna look like. Um, and then again, if you wanna stiffen this up, you can go ahead and basically take your tape, go around here um, one time to lock it in place and then work the tape up and work the tape down. And um, Darren had a good tip for me and for you guys as well. In the past, when I when I used to be into stiff rigging hooks, I used to tape it up, and then thinking it would be better if I just pull the tape and, and you know break it, then it comes tight. Um, he said that's not the way to go because that will make your tape unravel. So if you just wrap it up nice and you know not too snug, and then cut it with the scissors, and then lay the tape on here nicely it will stay on there a lot better, so. Okay, so now you just pull it up in there. And that's kinda, it's hard to see in the video, but you want, I like the tip right at the edge of the, um, the skirts basically, and if you watch the lure it turns with the line because the line saver is pinching on to the line so um, if you're gonna run this flashable stuff rig it either this way or the way that Darren showed you guys so I hope you guys Got some good information from this video. Um, if you did, please turn this around. If you did, um, please subscribe to our channel and leave a like below. Sutomo, premium big game fishing lures and offshore apparel. Our lures are handcrafted in Hawaii and proven around the world. Discover the beauty of Sutomo lures and let us help you put more blood in the box. Sutomo, the Hawaii Fishing Company.